this class we see the application of Kirchhoff's current law in terms of nodal analysis we will work out five problems on nodal analysis problem number one find the current flow in the 4 ohm resistor this is the given circuit the circuit consists of five resistors 2 ohms 10 ohms 4 ohms 20 ohms and 16 ohms three voltage sources 12 volt 4 volt and 8 volt now I identify these three that is 12 volt and 2 ohm 4 volt and 4 ohm 16 ohm and 8 volt I convert these three into a equivalent current source first is 12 by 2 that is equal to 6 amps the 2 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the 6 amp source similarly 4 by 4 that is equal to 1 amps 4 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the 1 amp source this is 8 by 16 that is equal to 0.5 amps the 16 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the 0.5 amp source now I redraw the circuit like this the same circuit after converting into a current source I redraw like this there are three nodes this is considered as a reference node this is node 1 this is node 2 once I know the node voltage V1 minus V2 divided by 4 I can find the current flow in the 4 ohm resistor first this is node 1 the node voltage is V1 this is node 2 node voltage V2 I assume current towards the junction is positive current leaving the junction is negative I can form a matrix that is 1 by R into V that is equal to I how many resistors are connected in the node 1 2 ohm 10 ohm 4 ohm therefore 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 10 here how many resistors are connected in node 2 20 16 4 1 by 20 plus 1 by 16 plus 1 by 4 which resistor is common to 1 and 2 4 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 V1 V2 is equal to current towards node 1 is equal to 6 this is 1 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 current towards the node 2 is equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 current leaving the node 2 is 1 that is minus 1 therefore this matrix will become 0.85 minus 0.25 minus 0.25 0 0.363 V1 V2 is equal to 7 minus 0.5 I can find V1, V2. V1 is equal to 9.82, V2 is equal to 5.39. So 9.82 minus 5.39 divided by 4, that is equal to 1.11 amps. Current flow in the 4 ohm resistor is 1.11. Now I verify Kirchhoff's current law. At node 1, current towards the junction is 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Current leaving the node 2 is equal to 4.91 plus 0.99 plus 1.11 that is equal to 7. So current towards the junction is 7, current leaving the junction is 7, current flow in the 4 ohm resistor is 1.11 amps. Problem number 2 5 resistors and if 150 volt and 110 amp current source are connected as shown in figure. The question is find power dissipated in 1 ohm resistor that is the question. Here one current source that is 10 amps. Conveniently I convert this 50 volt and 5 amp into an equivalent current source. That is 50 by 5 that is equal to 10 amps. This 5 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the 10 amp source. Now I redraw the circuit like this. I and mark the current directions. Here I assume current entering the junction is positive current leaving the junction is negative now the circuit consists of four nodes this is node 1 this is node 2 this is node 3 this is a reference node here the node voltage is v1 this node voltage is v2 this node voltage is v3 now i can write nodal equations first i consider node 1 here current towards node 1 is equal to 10 10 is equal to v1 by 5 plus V1 minus V2 by 1 plus V1 minus V3 by 5. Now I simplify the equation. I got 10 is equal to 1.4 V1 minus V2 minus 0 0.2 V3. This is equation 1. Now I consider node 2. Here 10 plus V1 minus V2 by 1. That is equal to V2 minus V3 by 10. Again, I simplify the equation. V1 minus 1.1 V2 plus 0 0.1 V3 that is equal to minus 10. That is equation 2. Now I consider node 3. Here, V3 by 10 is equal to 
V1 minus V3 by 5 plus V2 minus V3 by 10. I will simplify the equation. 0.2 V1 plus 0.1 V2 minus 0.4 V3 is equal to 0. This is equation 1, this is equation 2, this is equation 3. I solved the equation. V1 is equal to 72.03. V2 is equal to 79.66. V3 is equal to 55.93. I know the nodal voltages, I can easily find the branch currents. Again I redraw the circuit like this. I mark the nodal voltages. This is 72.03, this is 79.66, this is 55.93. Now current flow in the 1 ohm resistor is 79.66 minus 72.03 divided by 1 that is equal to 7.63. Current flow in the 5 ohm resistor is 72.03 minus 55.93 divided by 5 that is equal to 3.22. Here V3 that is 55.93 divided by 10 that is equal to 5.59. Current flow in the 1 ohm resistor is 7.63. Therefore power dissipation is equal to I squared into R. 7.63 the whole square into 1 that is equal to 58.22 watts. Now I verify Kirchhoff's current law. Here current to us junction is 10 plus 7.63 that is equal to 17.63 that is current entering the node 1. Current leaving the node is 14.41 plus 3.22 that is equal to 17.63. So current entering the junction is equal to current leaving the junction. Similarly at the reference node the current entering is 14.41 plus 5.59 minus 10 that is equal to 10. Here Kirchhoff's current law is verified. Problem number 3. Two resistors 6 ohm and 4 ohm and one independent current source 24 amps and one dependent current source 4 into I2 are connected as shown in figure. The direction of current is given that is this is I3 this is I2. The question is, find the power absorbed by 6 ohm and 4 ohm resistors. First I assume current entering is negative, current leaving is positive. Now I can write the equation I3 minus 24 minus 4 I2 minus I2 is equal to 0. I simplify the equation I3 minus 5 I2 is equal to 24. I3 is equal to V by 6. I2 is equal to minus V by 4. Now I substitute I3 and I2 in this equation. I will find V is equal to 16.94 volts. Once I know V, I can easily find I3 and I2. Here I3 is equal to 16.94 divided by 6. That is equal to 2.823 amps. And I2 is equal to minus 16.94 divided by 4 that is equal to minus 4.235 amps here the direction is minus the original direction is this I have the current is towards the leaving the junction not entering the junction therefore this dependent current source act as a load now I can easily find what is the power distribution in the 6 ohm and 4 ohm resistor here this is 2.823 this is 24, 24 minus 2.823 that is equal to 21.177. Here 21.177 minus 16.94 that is equal to 4.237. So this is 4.237. Therefore this current is 16.94. 16.94 plus 4.237 that is equal to 21.177. Here yeah, the 24 minus 21.177 that is equal to 2.823. Kirchhoff's current law is verified. I know the branch currents. Therefore, power absorbed by the 6 ohm resistor is 2.823 the whole square into 6 that is equal to minus 47.82 watts. Why I put minus sign? It is absorbed. And similarly, the 4 ohm resistor is 4.237 the whole square that is equal to minus 71.81 watts. Here, the current direction is reversed. So this source act as a load. 
therefore 16.94 into 16.94 that is equal to 286.96 so the total power absorbed is equal to this is 190 these two are these two is 119.63 plus 286.96 that is equal to 6.59 here power supplied by the source that is 24 into 6 and for this equal to 406.56 power absorbed is equal to power delivered the second thing is the source also act as a load problem number 4 six conductances 10s 1s 2s 1s 1s 5s s stands for siemens unit of conductance and 150 amp current source are connected as shown in figure the question is find the branch currents this circuit consists of four nodes A, B, C. This is considered as a reference node. I can form a matrix that is conductance into voltage is equal to current. First, I have to form the diagonal elements. At node A, there are three conductances are connected 5 plus 10 plus 1, that is equal to 16. At node B, three conductances 1 plus 1 plus 2, that is equal to 4. At node C, 3 conductances, 5 plus 1 plus 2, that is equal to 8. Which is common to A and B, 1, that is minus 1, minus 1. Which is common to A and C, 5, that is minus 5, minus 5. Which is common to B and C, minus 2, minus 2. VA, VB, VC is equal to plus 50. I assume current towards the junction is positive, current leaving the junction is negative. This is plus 50. B is equal to 0, C is equal to minus 50. Now I can easily find VA, VB, VC. VA is equal to 0 0.938. VB is equal to minus 2.969. VC is equal to minus 6.406. Now I can easily find the branch currents. First I find the current in the 5S. That is 5 into VC minus VA. That is equal to minus 36.72 amps. Here the minus sign indicates direction is opposite. Here this is the direction towards A but the current is leaving the junction that is 36.72. 50 minus 36.72 that is equal to 13.28. Now I can find current flow in the 1S that is 1 into VB minus VA that is equal to 3.907. This is 3.907 and similarly 10S that is equal to 10 into VA that is equal to 0.938 into 10 that is equal to 9.38 amps this is 9.38 amps so this is 9.38 amps this is 3.907 9.38 plus 3.907 that is equal to 13.28 now I can find the current flow in the 2S that is 2S is equal to VC minus VB that is 2 in, that is equal to 6.87 this current is 6.87 and similarly VC by VC into 1 that is equal to 6.41 similarly VB into 1 that is equal to 2.969 here the current is 36.72 plus 13.28 that is equal to 50 at node C the current is 6.87 plus 6.41 that is equal to 13.28 plus 36.72 that is equal to 50 now I can find the branch currents and I also verify the Richard's current law Problem number 5. Six resistances and three voltage sources are connected as shown in figure. The question is find the current in the 3 ohm and 2 ohm resistor. First step I convert the 18 volt and 6 ohm resistor into an equivalent current source. Similarly 4 volt and 2 ohm resistor into an equivalent current source. Similarly 12 volt into 6 ohms is equivalent to a current source. This is 18 by 6 is equal to 3 amps. The 6 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with this. Similarly, 4 by 2 is equal to 2 amps. The 2 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the current source. And similarly, the 12 by 6 that is equal to 2 amps. And the 6 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the 2 amps. Now I redraw the circuit like this. Now I can form a matrix. First, I have to find the diagonal elements. At node 1, 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2. Similarly, at node 2, 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3. Uh, which is element is common to 1 and 2 is minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 here minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 
V1, V2 that is equal to current towards the junction is 3, current leaving the junction is 2 that is 3 minus 2. Here current towards the junction is positive, current leaving the junction is negative, I assume. Therefore, at this node 2, current towards the junction is 2, again this 2, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. The matrix will become 1.167 minus 0.833 minus 0.833 1.167 V1 V2 that is equal to 1 4. Now I can solve V1 is equal to 6.735 V2 is equal to 8.235. Again I redraw the circuit. I mark the nodal voltages V1 V2. I can easily find the branch current. The current flow in the 6 ohm resistor is 6.735 divided by 6 that is equal to 1.123 this 6 ohm resistor is 1.123 similarly current flow in um, the, this resistor that is at node 2 that is 8.235 divided by 6 that is equal to 1.373 similarly that is 1.373 here current flow in the 3 ohm and 2 ohm resistor is V2 minus V1 divided by 3 that is equal to 0.5 V2 minus V1 divided by 2 that is equal to 0 0.75.